What's up guys? Back again today with the IWI Masada in 9mm. We're going to shoot it a little bit and see how we like it. America! This is the IWI Masada. I'm probably pronouncing that stupid for any of my Israeli friends that would correct me on the way that that's actually said, but here in the US we butcher it and call it Masada. It's got uh, optic cuts. It's kind of a Glock 17 sized gun. It's a 17 round magazine. Uh, it has your typical white dot sights on it. So there's not night sights or anything, but it is one of the lower price optic ready guns out there. I can't remember the exact price, but it's, it's not a super expensive handgun. It's got kind of the typical Glock setup with the trigger safety. You've got the um, slide catch on this side. It is actually ambi, so the slide catch is that way on both. There's not any kind of thumb safety or any of those sorts of things. Uh, it does have a little rail underneath to put a light on or something like that. So it's kind of a basic handgun, uh, but it looks to be pretty good quality. I don't have a lot of experience with the Masada. I've used some Tavors and some other things from IWI, but today I'm just going to give the handgun a shot and see how we like it. So here we go with the obligatory unboxing video of what comes in the box. So it comes in a nice black box. You open it up, it has the typical manuals and things like that. It's got a little zipper tag that you can hang on your zipper. It comes with plates for the optic mount on, that's on the top of the gun. Comes with two magazines, comes with your lock, and it also has two grip, uh, not grip extensions, I wanna say extensions, but that's not the word. Grip fatteners, for lack, lack of a better word. They change the contour of the grip to better fit your hand. Straight out of the box, it does seem a little bit small for me. This one has a big lump in the back. Um, if I were going to keep this gun and it weren't just kind of a demo, then I would probably change that out, make it a little bit larger for my hand, but we will see how the shooting goes. So that's what's in the box. So we're going to run this a little bit. I have 17 round magazines. I'm running Independence 115 grain. It's just standard full metal jacket, blazer brass grade stuff. So not high end ammo, but also not bad. Uh, so we're going to run it and see what we think. We're at about 10-ish yards. The, the ones in the back are maybe 11 or 12 yards, and the, one that close, uh, the ones that are close are like nine to 10 yards. So to give you an idea of how it shoots. I'm gonna take it kind of slow and just try to put some on top of each other and see where, the, where it ends up relative to the sights. Okay, that was really good. That was like dead under front sight. See, that one is too. These are stacking right there together. So that's some pretty impressive accuracy. I mean, I know we're only at 10 yards, but for a defensive gun, that is definitely usable. You can see that we can just stack them right there together. That one was a little bit lower. There we go. No, that was small down low. They're actually still stacking up. So let's pick a smaller target because I know I'll be able to hit it. Almost ate my words there, shooting high and right. That one's right under where I put it. We'll spin this one. I'm going to hit this one off to the right side. Look at that. That was fun. All right, dead center. That's pretty good. Let's run that second one again. Boom, right on top of itself. Man, this thing is a tack driver. Holy cow. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Let's back up a little bit, see how it does at like 15. All right, at that impressive performance at about 10 yards, we're gonna check it out at about 15 and see how we like it. I'm gonna start with these uh, hexagons in the front. Oh man, right where I want them to go. That one's a little off and to the left. I'm shooting low and left on that one too. Pull them back up some, like that. Man, this thing is fun to shoot. I just missed on that one. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. It looks like there's two hits, but I, I think I missed. Oh, that one flew in right next to the other one. Wow. Wow, love it. Love it. Man, this thing shoots great. 
I, like I said, I didn't have much experience with this, but I'm pretty surprised. All right, since this thing shot so good at that distance, I'm out at about 25 or so. I may embarrass myself. I don't usually shoot at this much distance. Plus, the smaller targets are about the size of your front sight. So let's see what happens though, right? I'm, I'm so impressed with it that I want to try to do something weird. I'm gonna shoot the big one to start with in the center. Man, that's right where I wanted it. Let's try the one next to it. Wow. Man. All right, I'm gonna step out and try to hit the little one. Y'all laugh at me when I miss. I didn't miss. Hit that one too. Let's go back to the center. Not super close together, but I'm not really trying to. I'm just putting them out there. All right, one more. Y'all see me flinch on that one? Wow! That is some fun shooting at 25. Nice, nice. Wow, guys, it is unusual that I get impressed with something like I have with this. I didn't expect much out of this gun. I mean, maybe, you know, guys that have run a lot of guns sometimes think, well, if I hadn't run it, it's probably not that great or something like that. That is wrong, wrong, wrong. This gun is as good a shooter as I've run in a long time. Definitely, I got to say it, a better shooter than some of the bigger names like Glock and that kind of thing. I was impressed at how accurate this thing is. It's fun to shoot. The recoil is manageable. It's a good weight. I like the grip. The trigger was good. Like everything about it, I was happy with. And this is not a really expensive gun. So I have to say, if I were on the fence or I was considering a gun uh, like one of these Masadas, I definitely wouldn't hesitate. This one will be uh, for rent at our range. Uh, people can come in and, and run it and see if they like it. But I bet you if you run this thing, you're going to be impressed. So go out and uh, check one out. See if you can run one or buy one for yourself. And uh, that's my thoughts on the Masada. So remember, guys, gun people are a family. Y'all be cool to each other.